Yo. How you guys doing today? Good to see you. Welcome to another day here on the channel. We are back today with a special sponsored look at a brand new game. This is a game that we've seen a lot of previews for. Uh, it's a game called Banishers. And uh, in, and I believe the, the entire title is Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what this game is like, seeing how it is. And uh, that's what we're doing. So yeah, it'll be good. So thank you, Focus Entertainment, for sponsoring the stream. If you want more information, there's a Banishers command as well as a profile button in my profile you can click on. And uh, it does help support the channel, so thanks to all that do. And uh, yeah, let's see what this is all about. Okay. Am I going to be using a controller or a mouse and keyboard? I don't know yet. Let's see. I don't know if there's aiming. Whoa. Uh, <clears throat> very hard. Because why not? Let's do it. Let's check it out. Oh, whoa. We're, oh, oh, oh. When I move my controller back, it, uh, <laughs> able to hit my scene button. Thank you. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Okay. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Damn. Kind of edgy. All right. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red. The greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Whoops. Oh, 
Okay. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I too am a fan of hot grog. Ooh. Okay. I'm seeing a little motion blur. Oh! Okay. Very high. Okay. Cool. Much better. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. It's a yellow paint. Is there an NDA at some point for this game? Oh no, I think this game is out. Yeah, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, this game is like, out. How are we feeling about it? I have no idea, I just started. I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. There's our map. Ooh. Like a full inventory. Okay. What what are these plants? Oh, okay. Uh Dark Horde, thank you. Nice. Nice. into this man's house I think we can get through here sure let's go traipsing through the rotten falling down house sounds good looks steady enough Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Over eager apprentices. I can break my way through here. Bro, it's annoying getting 35 emails a day from you because you can't stay online for more than 10 minutes unsubbing and blocking match. That's fair. 
I do get on 35 times a day for less than 10 minutes each time, so I, that, that is a completely valid concern. That I understand. Uh, yeah. Do not belong here. Okay. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe. But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Co also keeps emailing me about my car's extended warranty. It's true, and I'm going to keep doing that until you extend your warranty. Follow the streamer because he looks like the Breaking Bad dude. I'll take it. I'll also go with a larger Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, I'm, I'm Tyrion Lannister's big brother. Co Carnage. A Carnage always pays his debts. Oh, more wanderers. Get him! Behind you! Okay. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlement, perhaps. However, this doesn't bode well. I thought we'd be safer in Providence. I thought we'd finally see the children again, and the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join them soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Am I covering important bits of the UI? Uh, let me try to find a good medium. Uh, not like medium. Me Never mind. <clears throat> Oh. Yeah. Oh, I 
stupid one. Manage! There will be no womboing of those guys. No womboing. Zero wombos. Take a potion. Thank you so much. <coughs> That all goes badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Mm. Uh, there, there, well, there's your problem. You didn't set it to Wombo. Well, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. Other towns, selectmen sitting on their arses. Isn't that what selectmen do? Hey, oh. Take that, Selectman. Owned. When we get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. Who the hell burns their own crops? They were leaving because of disease and starvation. They thought it was doomsday. I saw the same thing happen at home. Oh, I can't jump over the little wall? Then. Thanks, Juicy. Good to see you, bud. That's the worst well I've ever seen. You should at least dig a hole first. Geez, what were these settlers thinking? No wonder they had to leave their town. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. If they burned their crops and ran out of food, then they probably eat the horses. Oh. Whoops. Jumpy, I know. It's it's an international travesty. It's the only thing I can think to call it. Yep. A welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. You haven't seen a single living person and you're thinking your boy's gonna be chilling at the inn? It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. Oh, <laughs> would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? I, I do see it. Hold on. A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles. Here's people, here's people. You have reached the location of your current objective. Your compass now indicates that you are inside an area of investigation. Look for the inn. What kind of game is this? Uh, so far I'd say like adventure narrative. It's don't nod. So, you know, you can expect a, a pretty heavy, twisty narrative. And then, um, looks like there's going to be some light exploration, some combat. I don't know how much the combat's going to factor into it, but yeah, I'd say this, this fits adventure game. Yep. Can I talk to these people? Me in. Let me in! Let me in! Okay, well, that wasn't weird. <laughs> Hi, 
away. You'll be the banishers then. Come too late. Oh. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Where's he in? Could you point us to the tavern? We're expected. The king's <coughs> arms. I'll not point it out to you as I disapprove of drinking. It's the large building next to the gallows. Wow. Okay. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Imagine if one of these characters was a dwarf that was wanted by the guards. Then there'd be a small medium at large. You may have your time back with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Damn it, Barry. Barely. Inn is called There's the inn. That's good. Very convenient for us. I like it. This music's a little creepy, though. Curfew. A curfew? But why? Uh, the first resort of every self-respecting oppressor. Path to the meeting house is well. Right, the governor's been going ham, apparently. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thick Skin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? Because he's dead. We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. These guys are fantastic at not answering questions they're asked. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort Losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. 
or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? I could guess, to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. 